The organ at Christ Church United in Lowell is silent. Nothing happens when organist Janet Barry presses the keys, and it's been this way for three years now. When you hear the whole thing playing, it fills the room and it fills the listener. Barry is the church's director of music and arts and organist. So these are the stops. It's sort of like making soup. It's so much fun. You have three or four keyboards and full pedals and you just, just, just get to be there experiencing and you're pulling out different stops and your feet are moving around. So yes, it should be counted as a workout, don't you think? <laughs> With music. This century-old organ is undergoing a restoration at the same time as the church building around it. The goal of both projects is to connect with the community in Lowell. It's also unusual to have an organ like this that is in an urban setting where we can open the doors to the music, so to speak, to a great diversity of population. We wanted to find a way to bring the community more into the church and the church become more involved with the community. Building committee chairperson Virginia Kramer says to accomplish that goal, the renovation included making the building more accessible and removing the pews from the sanctuary to create a multi-purpose space. We've had jazz concerts and different concerts in the past that Janet has helped to organize. We're open to many possibilities. The desire to share the organ with the community is what drew organ restoration expert Joseph Rotella to the project. That Skinner organ is a really sweetheart of an organ. To have an instrument like that in a community like Lowell is absolutely so exciting to me to bring this instrument back to life. Rotella and his company, Spencer Organ, are in the middle of this project, which includes restoring thousands of pipes, even these external pipes that actually don't make any sound. This is a full restoration, so we're not only restoring what's inside and all that mechanism and inside the box, but we also are going to restore all these outside pipes to renew the finish on them so that they look brand spiffy new. Inside, Rotella and his team have removed hundreds of pipes to work on them. In another chamber, completed pipes have been reinstalled, including the organ's biggest pipe, which is 18 feet long and weighs about 250 pounds. In the church basement, Rotella turns on the organ's blower. Then he takes us into a chamber to play a few pipes. The only way to hear the organ today is one pipe at a time. Before moving those pipes back to Lowell, Rotella tested them here in his Waltham workshop. He got into restoration after tendinitis forced him to step away from playing organ. This is the last stop for the organ pipes before they go back into the organ. Those notes are the culmination of meticulous, hands-on work. We basically break organs down to their smallest possible components. And even a small organ, when you take it apart, there are thousands of pieces. And it's not like a jigsaw puzzle where there's a picture on the outside. There's no picture. Pipes get a good soaking in hot, steamy water to remove decades of dust and debris. Once they're cleaned up, the work is all about the sound. Technicians replace the metal piece used to tune base pipes. They also ensure the pipes are round. Every pipe sits on top of one of these leather pouches. Old ones are removed, the rail is sanded and cleaned, and the new ones are added. The instruments are incredible in just about every single way, and each one is completely different in their own <laughs> amazing ways. And, and each time I think I'm catching on to it, I'm just about there to understand it all. Here comes another instrument where it's, it's just another mystery. Rotella is also thinking about the next time someone will be working on this organ, decades from now. It would be a lot faster to just take a pouch rail and shove it through a planer, but when the next person comes to restore it, there'll be less and less wood. Christ Church United is still raising money to fund the organ restoration, but everyone involved is looking forward to hearing the magnificent instrument once again. To hear it in the space, there's a lot of satisfaction that comes at the end of the day to be able to sit down and play a little bit and hear these instruments that we've brought back to life. For me, it will just be a moment of gratitude and joy, and I hope for the listeners as well.
Wow, and what's interesting, all in a restoration of a pipe organ will cost about $700,000. Right, and Janet Berry from Christ Church United is very hopeful that that'll be done within the next couple of years. It'll depend quite a bit on fundraising. They have to raise about 150000 of the $700,000 you recommended or said. Um, the rest will come from endowments and from church foundations as well. So they're not that far off, but they've got some work to do. They can do it. All right.